Hi, this is Dan Nickerson, and in this Acme Traffic video, I'm going to show you how to use our latest plugin. It's a Google Webmaster Tools plugin, and you may have seen these before, but all the plugins that work with Google Webmaster Tools, all they do is help you verify your site. So they'll add the little meta code that goes in your header file, uh, and that helps Google read your site, and then you can go to Webmaster Tools and submit and that kind of stuff. What our plugin does, it actually uses the API of Google Webmaster Tools and pulls that content into your WordPress install. So while you're inside WordPress, you can not only verify your site, you can also submit your sitemap directly to Google Webmaster Tools and you can view all the Webmaster Tools data for all your domains and blogs directly from your WordPress dashboard. Uh, if you're not familiar with Google Webmaster Tools, you really should be. Uh, their website's at google.com slash webmaster slash tools. And here's an idea of some sites that I have uh, uh, loaded into my Google Webmaster Tools account right here. And what Google Webmaster Tools does is it will first take your sitemap, and once it does that, it helps Google index your co content better and more efficiently. It'll also give you crawl errors and stuff, so things you can fix on your site. And this is a very old site of mine, and I have, I have not fixed it. Um, <laughs> but it's all here. It'll show you the keywords that people are coming in from, search queries. It'll show you links to your site. Um, it'll also uh, show all kinds of different uh, metrics and stuff that you can look at. And so what we've done is we've taken the step of logging into Webmaster Tools out of the equation here. And I'm going to show you how it works right now. So I'm inside my blog setup. I'm going to add the new uh, Google Tools, uh, Webmaster Tools plugin. So I'm just going to upload it. Let me see if I can find it real quick on my uh, desktop here. And here it is. I'm going to install it. I'm going to activate it. There's no um, verification that you need to do or anything like that. And then I'm going to go to Google Tools. And then here it's asking for a Google Tools email and password. Now, there's two ways you can do this. Um, you know, Google, your Google email and password, of course, is, is sensitive information. If you want to just do a session, meaning you just log in one time to check stuff, then you can enter in your uh, information. I'm going to actually add in one of my uh, Google Tools accounts here. Oops. Okay, so this is my username and password for this Google Tools account. Um, if I wanted to save it to my uh, database, I could click Save, and it's going to save inside of uh, my database. But for extra security, if you want to just start a protected session, then you can click Start Protected Session, and it's only saved for your, your session while you're on the site. So I'm going to do a, a protected session. Okay, and so it's now um, telling me I'm logged in. I can refresh my sites. It's going to show me all the sites that I have uh, configured into uh, this account right here. Also tell me whether they're verified or not. And you're going to notice here that my blog setup is already verified. It instantly verified with Google. That's how fast that just worked. So the second I did it, it verified the site with Google. That's a huge time saver for a lot of people who get really frustrated activating their sites. The next thing I can do is I can go to crawl errors. And if I want, I can pull up uh, another site. Like, uh, for example, I'll pull up this site that I already have in here. Uh, and because Google probably hasn't crawled uh, this site yet and this will show me some crawl errors that are built in here so I can go and fix those if I want I can also go and look at internal pages and, and queries from Google so I can see that uh, you know different positions and different pages and where they rank this is all just coming directly from Google Webmaster Tools and then finally there's a sitemap now you're gonna see here that um, it's looking it's gonna instantly look for a sitemap from this site and I don't have one yet on this site. So if I was to, actually I don't think I ever activated it, I think I have the plugin. Um, so what I can do is, okay, well I should install this plugin, so let me go to plugins. And do I have the Google tool in here? Sitemaps, I, I believe I do. So I have it right here, I'm gonna activate this plugin. Those of you that know this site, this is the site that I use for my blog setup, so I didn't uh, index it yet. And I can go into, um, Oops. One second here. Settings. Here we go. Where did, did I not activate my sitemap? Hold on one second. Cool. This is the settings page here. Uh, 
Okay, this is because of my stuff here. Let me rebuild the site map. Okay, so I rebuilt the site map, and now I can go back to my Google Tools plugin, Site Maps. And look, it's going to tell you that it's found a site map here. Do I want to submit the site map to Google? Um, by the way, if you've already installed the Google site map, which a lot of you have, uh, this is a different thing, by the way. Um, now you can just submit site map to Google, and it's, it's submitted. So in just a few seconds, I installed this plugin, and I was able to generate a site map, verify it with Google, uh, and I'm done. And anytime I want, I can come back to this, um, this Google Tools, and I can check my crawl errors, check my internal pages, all without having to uh, log into Webmaster Tools. And I can do this for any sites that I have configured. So I can load up any other site uh, in here, for example, this one here. Um, I can request all the interface. So it's like a whole separate interface for every one of your uh, WordPress installs. And that's the power of this plugin, and uh, we hope you use it. It's a benefit of being an Acme Traffic member. Thanks, and it's available for download right now in the Acme Traffic members area.